hello everyone welcome to my github tutorial so today in this short tutorial I'm going to show you how to create branches so branches are a concept where you can keep multiple repositories in same repo so using the branch concept for example you say you have a, a desi UI designers code and then you have some backend guys code and finally you need to merge and keep it as a final product in another set of code so in that situation you can ask for a UI person to work in a same repository under one branch and the backend people to work in the same repository under a different branch so if you are the tech lead of that team so you can simply take all these files into one branch and merge it and see whether it's working functionally properly in your local machine and then finally you can push it into a dev branch or release branch or a master branch likewise so in my example what we did in the last couple of weeks in other tutorials so the code wrapper we have a JIT repository and in that repository we have a branch called master so I'm going to add another branch so when you click in this drop down you can see at the moment I am having two branches one is master and the other one is PHP so I need to have another branch added into here so I will create a new branch called HTML so then you will uh, understand that I'm going to have a, another tutorial regarding HTML so once you have this branch ready then what you need to do is you need to move on to your JIT bash so in this JIT bash I'm in the master branch so since I have done into our JIT hub repository I need to get those changes into my local machine so how are we going to do it you can simply ask to JIT pull so then all the changes will be update in your local JIT repository so you can see I'm getting a message saying there's a new branch created with the name HTML and that is pointing to the origin master so origin as I mentioned earlier origin is your JIT hub repository so in there you can see now I can simply say JIT checkout so the branch is HTML so now you you can see a very important thing so in the JIT bash it shows here that your current branch current working branch so the current working branch at the moment is HTML so then I'll go into my code wrapper it code wrapper uh, code base and now you can see I'm having hello.php file and index.html file so if you look at in here we have those two files in this branch so my main intention is not to have any of the previous uh, code bases in here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that from this branch so normally what happens since we are creating a branch from the existing branch so that means I'm creating this branch from the master branch uh, so yeah I'm creating this from the master branch so then whatever that you have inside the master branch that will be automatically cloned into the next branch so what you can do is now you can remove that from the local repository and then you don't have any file but you should keep this dot jit file because that's the tracking file for the code revisioning then what you do is I'll create a new file and save this so I'm saving in the same location right so in the same location but you know that the branch is different so when you are shifting among the branches what happens the files will be automatically get 
removed or get added so adjustment will be automatically happened because you it's tracking by the JIT local uh, repo so I'll uh, create here index.html title I'll put and then I'll put each one tag right so now I'm having a new file so this file I want to push this into my JIT repository so I, when I put JIT status I can see there are one file deleted and a new file added since the file names are same it consider as a modified of the previous file so then I'll put JIT add so since I need all the files to be add, I put dot, then git commit dash m and then I can simply type git push. So when you add in the JIT push, what happens? It automatically detects that your current branch is HTML. So because of that, the push should be happen onto the specific branch in the JIT repository, GitHub repository. So if you are not sure about that the branch that you are sending is done automatically, you can type like this JIT push origin HTML. So this is more specific way that you can inform to your JIT bash code base you will say go to the origin that means your JIT hub repository location and find this branch so you can use one of that option so most of the time I will be go with <coughs> this option but it doesn't say that you can you should always use this so I'll use this JIT origin command just to show you So then this will work and it will be pushed code into our branch. So if you go there and at the moment we have those two files in the PHP code but now it has modified only to having index.html. So this is a very good feature that provide by the JIT so you can have multiple branches running parallelly and you can merge branches in a one particular point and there are new concepts available in here so for example the JIT uh, pull concept so the new pull request concept so these things will be go going to learn one by one in the uh, next coming up tutorials so for today we'll stop this session so we'll meet on next uh, day with a, a new brand new video so then thank you for joining with me